Hello everyone, my name is uh, Marcin Wolski and I'm very happy to meet with you this time remotely. And I'm very excited to present to you the product of more than a year of development at, uh, at Rejust, uh, Rejustify. There is a surprise gift for you at the end of this, this presentation and uh, other than that uh, the presentation will be uh, split in two parts. In the first part I will try to explain the main concepts behind Rejustify and how we approach the the ETL problem at, at Rejustify and in the second part of the presentation I will uh, walk you through a hands-on example of how to use Rejustify with our package that, uh, that we also provide you with. So let me, let me start uh, with the idea. How a typical data process look like? Normally we have uh, multiple data sources and the ETL process perfectly would be designed against each individual each individual data source and it's very time consuming it requires a lot of effort a lot of bookkeeping and is very prone to error what we do at we justify we came up with this solution that uh, we have this intermediate step and um, the, the idea behind this is that first of all we aggregate different data sources so that's one thing the second the second benefit is that we we remember how this data communicate with with our engine and how they are feed into the user the, the end user data template and because of this you need only to communicate with with rejustify and the rejustify will remember that the, this will learn from this history of communication and will uh, use it to improve the the uh, the, the accuracy of working with different different data sources and really the process of working with uh, with Rejustify is split into uh, two sub processes in the first step you need to uh, let the, the, the Rejustify engine let it understand uh, what what data structure and what data you, you, you are working with in this respect it will try to distinguish between empty and non-empty dimensions if it's empty it will uh, understand that this is the place where you would like the data to appear and if it's not empty it will try to learn from learn what uh, uh, what uh, what this data is and uh, how we can work with with the data you have already in your in your data template in the most effective way in this respect we we classify the data against six potential classes that they cover the, the majority of, uh, of working examples we have in our repositories and uh, the, the, the engine will try to propose one of five possible matching algorithms. In the second step, uh, it's, uh, you, you just need uh, to let Rejustify fill, fill the data. If there are any adjustments to be done, you can, you can do it uh, also in this step and you can basically control, you have control over everything that the engine is doing. Um, as, a, as a quick data, data template example, we, to, to better explain what, uh, what, what you mean by, by what we mean by a data template is uh, a simple, a simple panel, uh, panel of data structure with the year, which is a four digit year representation, a country dimension, which is the English name of, of a country and the GDP here you see that it's, it's empty, it has uh, missing values and the, the engine will implicitly um, understand that you would like the figures to appear in this dimension corresponding to the dimensions in, in other parts of your data template. And let's now turn to the Rejustify package. A access to Rejustify is available through di three different channels. Uh, it is uh, Google Sheets, uh, Python model, uh, which is still in development, and the R package. And to use the, the R package access, First of all, you need to install the, the package from, from, from GitHub and, and load it in your current R environment. Afterwards, you need to register your account. You can do it for free at rejustify.com. To load, the, to, to, to make the package work in the R environment, you need to first of all set, uh, set all the uh, API URL addresses uh, for, for Rejustify endpoints. And this is done using the, this function set curl. Here we uh, explicitly show you that uh, we, we allow the, the package to, uh, to learn from, from our data. This is to, to make sure that 
your experience with uh, with Rejustify is customized customized to your data preferences, and it is enhanced by the the uh, AI uh, AI algorithms working in the background uh, at uh, at Rejustify. You can always uh, you can always turn this function off, but then you will not have a customized experience when using the package. And you need to register your uh, use register function to load the token and email that you that you obtain when registering an account. And it's very uh, very simple, straightforward, and that's basically it. Once you've done it, uh, you can you can uh, enjoy the uh, the full power of, of the package. The, the, there are two core functions of, of the package. These are analyze and fill, and they really correspond to, to what I told you in the first part of this presentation, how Rejustify approaches the, the ETL process. There are also two very useful support functions. This is the visualization tool and the adjust, the adjust function. The adjust function really allows you to change all the data elements that, uh, uh, or, or uh, matching preferences uh, that Rejustify should uh, should use in your in your data process. Time for a data example. Let's first create a data template. Here the, the idea will be very simple. We would like to create a vector of days, which we will try to make look like very very unusual. I mean this this is done on purpose here because we're hoping to to, to, to give you a gist of what's uh, what is the advantage of using the Rejustify. Rejustify engine. So we'll have the, the vector of days from the 1st until the 10th of June. And we will uh, put it in, in the first column. In the second column, we will put uh, the ITA, which is the, uh, the three letter ISO code for, for Italy. And the third column will be missing. So if we, if we, uh, if we have a look at the, the data structure, it looks like that. So the third column, as I told you, is missing. It has the, the header COVID. And this COVID the, the, this header title will be used as a keyword in the search engine to propose the, the, the best uh, data repository that can contain data points that fit into, in, into your, your data template in the, best, in the best way. Analyzing the data using the, the analyze function, we see a lot, uh, a lot of details. I mean, these are, these are two really comprehensive comprehensively describe uh, the structure of your data set. But what I wanted to point your attention to is that the, the classification, we justify classify the three dimensions as time, geography, and general. So they really correspond to days, country, and COVID. And moreover, for the COVID, uh, for the COVID uh, column, uh, the, the repository provider was, uh, was proposed to be rejustified. That means that the repository is supported by, uh, by the uh, Rejustify engine. And the table name is called COVID-19 CSSE. This is the uh, repository made available by the Job Hop John Hopkins University. If you run on, on this structure, if you, if you run the fill command, you will see that the numbers appeared in the, in the, missing, in the missing places and they correspond to the number of COVID cases in Italy on, a, on given days. But to make sure that we understand the metadata and what's, uh, what, how the matching was done, we can always visualize the, the, vi visualize the, the, the results. Here there are two structures. The visualize function takes uh, two structures, structure X and structure Y. Structure X is the, the structure of the data that, uh, that uh, the user provided to the, to the engine structure why it was the structure already embedded in the Rejustify engine and it corresponds to this COVID, uh, COVID uh, header of the empty column. Basically how it works, the engine took the COVID as a keyword, it provided the COVID-19 CSSE as the most representative data source for this keyword and it has the embedded structure of the, the this COVID-19 CSSE table uh, as structure Y. So what is relevant here are two things. First of all, the colors correspond to the dimensions being matched. Here days was matched with time dimension and the country was matched with country or region dimension. But you see that the structure Y, it has more dimensions and some of them were not used for matching. 
So these dimensions we justify propose the default values. So in this case, the, we, we take the total number of confirmed cases. If for some reason we would like to adjust it, for instance, taking the number of recovered cases instead of number of confirmed cases, we can adjust what uh, we can communicate with the Rejustify engine using this uh, adjust function. Adjust, uh, adjust function, the, the syntax takes three elements. The first one is what we would like to change. The second one is which column, which dimension we would like to change. And the third one is what we would like to change. In this respect, we would like to uh, change the, the concept indicator from confirmed cases to recovered cases. And if we feed this adjusted data structure into the fill, uh, fill function, we see uh, that, that we justify right now, it changed the values, the values now uh, correspond to the number of recovered cases from, from the virus in Italy in given, uh, on given days. Uh, and that's, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to learn more about uh, Rejustify, you can, uh, you're invited to, to visit our website. The details about the R package are present in the manual that is provided with the, uh, with, with the R package itself, but it's also uh, described comprehensively with a lot of examples and a lot of uh, explanations on, on our website. The list of available reposit repositories is you can find on rejustify.com slash repos. And for, uh, for those of you who would like to uh, enjoy uh, the, the hands-on experience with, with our package, we have a gift, three month premium access. Upon registration of, on our website, you can type in uh, the voucher code. It's case sensitive and you will be given a three month premium access to our engine. So thank you very much.